don't listen to the hype you're not going to become a developer in two to three months you know don't believe it but what can you accomplish in two to three months let's find out in this video hey guys you're watching coding after 30 this is where i talk about how i switched careers in my late 30s to becoming a web developer and if this is something you're going through don't be discouraged because it is possible but it's not easy a lot of people don't tell you the truth it is very difficult and it is very competitive so the two paths that i always recommend is one understanding this idea if you won't get hired you could always work as a freelancer and if you're going to take the freelancing path i recommend getting into wordpress because you still need to learn html and css and some javascript maybe some basic php so you're kind of learning all the things that a web developer needs to know but you don't have to start with that knowledge to be able to start designing simple websites with WordPress for clients. So the secret becomes is actually being able to market your services and finding your clients. And a lot of people don't like to do that because it's hard. Nobody wants to go and find a paying client. They much rather go to a job where they know they have a secure position where they could work and get paid and possibly have great benefits. But with that being said though, if you focus on this idea of being a go-getter, trying to get your own clients, it's almost like it's gonna to be tough to fail because you're learning the most important skill and which is to sell your services. But that's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to throw that out there. The second path, and I think right now it's the easiest path to get hired within a company is to become a front-end developer with HTML, CSS, JavaScript and becoming really good with one of the JavaScript framework. And I chose React, that's my favorite. I know there's others out there, but that's what I've done. And with that being said, all those things are hard to learn. So you're not gonna be able to master any one of those technologies within the three months but you could put a pretty big dent into it. So in this video, I just wanna tell you what you should expect to accomplish in the first two to three months when you're learning to code. So step one, you should learn HTML and CSS. And you should learn them kinda of in tandem because HTML is basically how you mark up the text and CSS is how you style that text, how do you make it look, how do you present that information. and that should not take you more than a month to learn the basics of HTML and CSS. If you're spending more than a month, that is, you know, you're not spending enough time studying. You should devote two to three hours a day and just go through it. And you will, in a month, learn enough HTML and CSS, at least you understand what's going on when you're looking at HTML and CSS. Also, be able to create simple website layout and that month of HTML and CSS is gonna give you enough to be able to work with WordPress and be able to make minor tweaks, you know, when you're writing posts or when you wanna change the CSS to make the website look a little bit different. And then the second and third month, you should really dive into JavaScript and spend a lot of time to understand how JavaScript works and learn how to make a basic to-do app with JavaScript vanilla JavaScript, learn how to create a modal window with JavaScript, learn how to make a mobile menu with JavaScript, and probably learn how to make a slider with JavaScript, like a picture slider. And with that, you could pretty much build any basic website that you need. And maybe the last month of your JavaScript training is to start getting into React. So in two, three months, you could get a pretty good introduction into what it takes. Now, when you hear stories of people getting their first job in three months of programming, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's highly improbable because the truth is all this stuff is hard. There's a lot of people that spent way more time than you have and even have a college degree, and those are the same people you're competing against when getting a job. So you have to understand that in order to stand out, you have to put in the extra work. So what I would recommend for those of you who are starting out, spend at least two hours a day studying. A one hour a day, it's okay. I get it if you have a family and you're 
have to do a lot of things, but stop watching Netflix, stop doing stupid stuff, and spend consistent amount of time, two and a half hours a day, two hours a day at least, of studying. Set goals, make sure that you make an outline of all the things that you're looking to study and what your goals are, and just you hit the pavement running. And like I said before, my outline for you guys would be learn basic HTML and CSS for the first month. Don't learn anything else. Learn how to be able to create simple websites. And a good place to start is just creating these uh, basic landing pages that you know have the header, have the big hero section, which has like the call to action and the form to sign up. You know, maybe a couple of subsections talking about like the product or whatever. That's a great place to start making those. And again, spend a month doing that. After a month, take your knowledge to the next step by learning JavaScript and learn how to make a mobile menu. Learn how to make modal. Learn how to make a slider. And with that, you'll be well on your way. You know, you could even get into doing some basic uh, form validation with JavaScript. So if someone types in the wrong thing, you know, give them an error. But don't spend too much on that because a lot of that stuff you could cover when you start learning React. And the final month, you could start your introduction to React. Again, I would recommend taking the same you know, landing page or that project you build with HTML and CSS and convert it to a basic React you know, based uh, layout and use JavaScript to create those functionality via the slider, via the modal window and the menu. And with that being said, in three months, you have a pretty basic understanding how to create a basic uh, design. And once you get comfortable with HTML, CSS, and basic JavaScript, like the few things that I talked about, it's always important to kind of study and read on and get some inspiration or ideas on proper UI and UX design. So you do have to have some understanding of how people use the website, what are the best practices, and that's something you pick up over time. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you're not discouraged. It does take time. And uh, if you stuck around to the end of this video, what I'm gonna do in my next video, I'm gonna kinda give you the way that I used to and still practice, you know, creating these basic uh, websites just so I could have constant like repetition of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So for my next video, I'm gonna go through how I pick a random, you know, landing page and I take a picture of it, screen capture, and then I try to redesign it uh, from scratch using HTML and CSS. And if I do get stuck, I'll show you how to use the Chrome inspector to kind of look behind the scene and see what that other website has done in the back end, or I guess on the front end, to see like what code is behind you know, the veil, as you will, to see how they did it. And you could kind of play around in the inspector, get some ideas, and then go back to your code and fix it. So if you like this video, share, like, subscribe. If you hated this video, of course, you could dislike it, but at least let me know in the comments why you did so I could make my next video much better. And if you have any suggestions or any ideas or things that you use that helped you to become a better web developer, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy building. See you guys next video.